This seriously feels so good. It even smells the same. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Victoria. I hope you guys are having a fantastic new year so far. I'm so excited to share these new products with you. I have already used a couple of them, but I wanted to share them with you anyways. I got them for Christmas, but I ordered a few more so we could add on to the accumulation of things to try. So we're gonna be trying out more Palladio products. I have been obsessed with this brand ever since I found their rice powder and their lip gloss. Seriously, I think this lip gloss is even better than the Fenty Fenty Gloss, which is saying something because the Fenty Gloss is good. I now have it in two different colors, different flavors too, technically, and I really, really love them both. So I'll share them with you in a little bit. Today our focus is first and foremost going to be on the primer. This is step one. So I only have moisturizer on my face right now. I already did my eyes because we don't have anything eye related today. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. If you're new watching, we would love to have you. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. It means so much to me. If you would like to ring the bell, you can be notified of my new videos, which I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. <laughs> Let's get started with the primers. The one that I want to most compare this to is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is their like original, I think. The packaging is super, super similar. That's kind of why my attention was grabbed at first. So smart marketing, smart marketing, smart marketing on Palladio's part. This one is like my staple that I've been using almost every day for the last month or so. So I'm hoping that this kind of feels the same, but I guess we will find out. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this one on my hand just to kind of feel the difference between the two. Let's feel this one first. So this is the Smashbox. Very silicone-y, a little bit tacky and smooth. And this one, oh my gosh, stop it. That feels so similar. Oh my gosh, you guys, those feel so similar. Wow. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is expensive too. This one, um, how much was this one? This was $8.63 and you can get all of these on Amazon. I'll have links to all of these down below. I have a feeling they're going to be very good. I've been so impressed with Palladio's products so far. This seriously feels so good. It even smells the same. Let's put this on. I like to rub it on my hands and warm it up on my fingers first and then just press it into the skin. Usually when I use this regularly, the Smashbox, I only put it on the outer edges of my face and then I go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty, Putty Primer for my pores. I am gonna put the Putty Primer on one side because I wanna see if it makes that much of a difference. Although I've been using it every day, I would hope that I would be able to tell, you know? Wow, this really feels just identical. It's like, seriously. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I thought of that. I just constantly just like, wow, 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 wow. Okay, Victoria. So I'm gonna take just a small amount of the poreless putty primer, just a little bit. Warm it up in my fingers and we're just going to put it on the left side of our face. So I'm just gonna push it in right here. This is magic. This stuff is magic. If you can find this at the drugstore, it's so good. If you have large pores, this just helps so much. One of my biggest frustrations with my makeup is trying to hide the texture. I've just kind of embraced it lately and I just don't really care, but this is definitely something that helps tremendously. All right, I'm gonna go put on foundation really quick, so I'll see you guys back in a second. Okay, we're back. I went ahead and put on concealer as well if you're curious about what I used. I do always have my makeup listed down below on most of my videos. And this one, it is definitely linked down below. It's time to dip into the blush. From what I learned from my research, first of all, this blush was $7.80. It's a two-in-one, so it's actually a lip tint as well as a cream blush. So two in one, we always love those. This one is in the shade Dainty. There was also one called Darling that I almost purchased. It was, I think, one of the more popular shades, but it was just so dark. It was the darkest option out of all of them. And I am very pale right now. So I didn't want to go quite that dark. And from what I've heard, this one's a little bit more pinky. So let's just do a swatch of this really quick. Ooh, there's a little bit of a pearl sheen to it. So I think it's gonna be a little bit shiny. Ooh, whoa, that is, 
Oh boy, that is super pinky. Very, very creamy. I don't think we'll have any problems with this blending out. Like look how pretty that is. I'm so tempted to just put it on our lips right now. Maybe we will. Let's do our lips first and then we'll do the cheeks because we have a lip liner to use as well and the liner is very, very dark so it won't work with this at all. Let's just see how this looks with the lips. Oh yeah, definitely a shine. Hands down. Oh, that's very pretty. It's a really pretty color, but it's just a little bit too shiny. It makes my lips look super, super, super dry. It's not too like Barbie doll pink by any means either, but not for dry lips. No sorry. Let's just move on to the cheeks. I'm using a brush for this, so I'm just going to dab it on the brush. That is so so way too much. Just gonna tap it off on my finger really quick. Oh, well, that is so pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. I don't even know. Ooh, I really like that. It has a really pretty shine to it too. That is so pretty. <gasps> Stop it. Oh, I love it. Ooh, I've been so into blush lately, you guys. I never really used to wear that much blush, but now I'm just like, how much it brightens up the face. It makes you look cheery and happy. It is just really a beautiful element. I still don't like it as a lip tint, but it's okay. I think it's a beautiful blush, so we're gonna roll with it as a blush. And I wonder if I just like tapped it and then blended it. Ooh, that works really well too. Oh, I love this. Okay, you guys get the point. Can't stop, won't stop. Let's put a little bit on my nose as well. If you want a little like sun-kissed look, or even in the winter, it's kind of fun to make you look like a little frostbited, you know what I mean? If you put a little bit of blush on your nose, it gives kind of that effect. Because if you think about when you get sunburned, the first place you get burned is usually on your nose and on your cheeks. So it's kind of a fun little rosy sun-kissed look. But then also in the winter when you go out, first thing that like, freezes, for me anyways, is always my nose and my toes. Usually the nose is when you can kind of feel that cold chill kind of get you so your nose gets a little pink. So that's kind of a fun little, fun little thing. I need to blend out the under eye again and then we're going to go in, of course, with the Palladio Rice Powder. This is a fantastic translucent powder. I have been raving about this for months and months and months. It is so good. I like it so much more than the Cody Airspun. Cody Airspun somehow just dried out my eyes. Tons, it's just weird. This is my go-to drugstore translucent powder. So we're gonna bake under the eyes with that, right on top of the nose. And I always pat out the forehead one more time. I have pretty deep forehead wrinkles, I think anyways, drive me nuts. So I usually will bake my forehead as well. A little bit on the chin, and let's just go ahead and get around the nose too while we're doing it. I don't get smile lines on this side, but this side I do. It's not so funny. I definitely have realized that I use, and you guys probably realize too maybe, that when I talk, I use this side of the face more. So I'm gonna put down some translucent powder right here too. Palladio has so many products and I wanted to try them all out. Like if I could just get every single one and try them all, I'm sure I feel like they would all be amazing. But sometimes you never know. Sometimes things just don't work out how you planned. But we have a budget, so maybe someday we'll be able to just go out and try tons of things so I can test all the things for you guys. But for now, we're gonna just do small amounts at a time. So I'm thankful to have gotten these. I really like this primer so far. Let's go ahead and do bronzer. So I love to use my big fluffy brush and the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. It smells so good and it's just a really pretty super pigmented blendable bronzer if you don't have this in your collection oh i highly recommend i'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose with this as well but let's wipe away that bake really quick i've been trying not to leave it on for too long i'm just gonna contour my nose really quick and then we'll come back to do the brow gel this brow gel i <laughs> I tried to wait, I promise I did, but I've had this since Christmas and I've just been so <laughs> excited to use it because I've been getting so into brow gels and I really actually enjoy this one. I do wish that it kind of makes the hair stick up a little bit more, 
but it does just give this like textured look that's very subtle and I love the brush. So I wanna show you the brushes. Aren't those great? I love them. So you have a little comb so you can just kind of comb the brows and that definitely separates them and makes them look a little bit more textured. And then this side is a little brush so you can kind of separate them even more. And then we dip into the gel. Um, So <laughs> I did take some pliers and removed this little like um, uh, protector thing. It stopped too much product from coming through it's a little rubber stopper if you will I don't really know what it's called but that was like a huge huge mistake that works for some products I did that with my lash serum but with this it just made the gel go all the way up to the top and it was bad and I'll show you what I mean I did this on the gloss too but there was no saving it this one I was able to put back on and it did waste some product it was tough because I do like having more product on this but I would rather have to dip in twice then have it be as gloopy as it was when I took off that safety thing. Ooh, I really love the way that this gives just a little bit of texture, makes the brows pop a little bit more, and it's super super soft like there's no crunchy brow situation going on which sometimes I do actually like that it really just makes them stay and it's only seven dollars and 53 cents which I do think is a little expensive it just definitely makes your brows look a little bit more prominent I like it I wanted to show you guys this lip liner this was oh I didn't write down how much it was I just wrote down the shade I think this was $5, maybe $6. This is in the shade Coffee. It's a waterproof lip liner. It is super dark, super, super dark. And I wasn't planning on it being that dark. I didn't really know. It's hard to tell online like the shades of things, you know? So I kind of guessed and I put this on my Christmas wish list. And my husband bought me two of them. <laughs> and I was so excited to receive it. I did end up returning one so we could get some other Palladio products because I didn't need to. I still really want to try out the shade Nutmeg or the shade Naked or both. They look really wonderful. I love this. It doesn't smell like a crayon, which is huge to me. I really don't like when they smell like a crayon. This dark color would double so good as an eyeliner, like this beautiful brown. I like to use my brow pencils as that as well, because why not, they're brown shades. And to do the inner eye, like the waterline, we're gonna do that today too. We're gonna put it on the lips right now. And especially when you have a gloss on underneath, it just smears everywhere in a good way. Okay, so we're good on the lining. So you guys see how dark that is? It's very, very dark. I'm gonna take this one by Tom Ford. This is in the shade Casablanca. Casablanca, Casablanca. And we're gonna put this on, on top of that, all the way up to the edge. I honestly really love the way that this looks, how it blends, how it applies, how it smells everything so I highly recommend the lip pencil basically highly recommend everything I cannot get enough of their products and I seriously want to try everything under the sun because I'm sure they're all so so good I'm also going to apply this in the waterline really quick too and I did wipe it off on my hand so there wasn't any gloss on there dang I love that for the waterline that is so pretty I don't know why, it makes my eyes look more green. I used majority the Morphe M35F on my eyes. So I wanna take a little bit of that on this little eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna take, oh gosh. Oh, I did write down the shades. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the shade Hazel. This is Hazel, this one. Palette is one of their older ones so it does not have a mirror. I'm just gonna push that, or push that. I'm gonna massage, I hit blend. Sure, push, massage. I'm gonna blend that right under the eye. Okay, and then grabbing this pencil brush and going into the shade Visible. This is my favorite one to use in the inner corner. It is very pigmented, so stunning. It just gives such a gorgeous pop. This also doubles as a really beautiful highlight. If you ever wanted to use it as that, sometimes I like to use it just down the bridge of my nose just to give a little bit more of a pop and shine to the contour. Really pretty right under the brows. You could put it on the cheeks if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that today because I don't really feel like applying highlighter, so we're not going to. Do we want to do anything else? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's take a different brush really quick. This one will do. So this is just a little flat brush. I'm going to take 
why not? Let's take this one right here. Pretty sure that's Phantom. We're gonna take a smidge of Phantom, apply that close to the lash line, right under the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna take a little smudge brush really quick and just kind of go in and blend a little bit of that out. My husband and I have been watching The Mandalorian. <laughs> this is the way. Have you guys seen that? Do you like the show? We're not super big Star Wars fans, but that is like an addicting show. I'm so disappointed that there isn't more episodes. I saw that somebody said like, can you guys just stop making movies and just make a bunch more episodes? And I just was like, I second that, totally agree. I want more episodes. We're gonna go in now with Urban Decay's setting spray. I like to do this before I have lashes on, but I did do my eyes already today and I have my upper mascara done. My lashes are long, so when I do setting spray, it dampens them again and then they transfer onto my skin, which is so frustrating. So I usually always do this before mascara. So I'm just gonna be careful today and try not to look up at all. <laughs> I'm just going to push that into the skin a little bit with my beauty blender. And then last thing before we move on to the gloss, which I am so excited to show you. I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Loose Translucent Powder. That is such a handful. I have mine in like a little vintage glass, glass dish on my counter, but it does come in the nice little bottle. There's little travel sizes as well, which I love. So yeah, this is one of my secret weapons and I like to just lightly tap this all over the skin. This just seals in everything. You don't need a lot. A little bit goes a very long way and it just completely mattifies, which I love. You could also apply a little bit of highlight after you do this if you wanted to give a little bit of glow back into the skin. That is completely up to you. I like to mattify everything. I am getting a little bit more into the glow, but it's a slow process. <laughs> I just went ahead and put on like my lower mascara, <clears throat> just super quick. Watchers beware. This is the lip gloss that I took off the little safety thing on. And so it's very gloopy, but oh my gosh, this is like the flavor or color, however you want to call it, vanilla cupcake. Because it's so thick when you apply it now and it doesn't have that safety thing to stop it from getting too much product, it's like putting liquid icing on your lips. It makes me feel like I'm eating cake. There's just so much product on the wand um, and that's my fault. So I don't blame, don't blame Palladio because I took off the little black rubber stopper thing. Because there's so much on there, I'm just gonna do a little. And then, oh gosh, that's too much. It's literally liquid icing. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna apply it with my finger. So glossy and not sticky. You see this? It's so glossy, so pretty. Juicy, it's, um, it's just so good, so good. Before we do the final look, I kinda wanna just assess really quick. I think I want a little bit more blush. So I guess we'll see how this blends on top of powder. I'm kind of nervous about that, but I do feel like I just need a little bit more. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This is my, oh wow. This might be like one of my new favorite blushes. I'm not even kidding. This is really, really pretty. I think that is perfect. And then maybe just a smidge more bronzer as well. I'm not even going to put anything else on this brush. I'm just going to go in with the bronzing brush and just tap a little bit more up here. Really love this look today, especially the eyes. The brows look nice, the lips are popping. Have you guys tried out Palladio yet? I've been talking about it for a long time. If anything, I probably would have to say the lip gloss is my favorite. And then next would definitely come the rice powder. I've used so much of it and they pack this Full. So you get an entirely full container. I've used half, which is saying something. <laughs> That's awesome. And then I probably love the blush the most next. I would say the lip liner just for its versatility as a lip liner, eyeliner, and a waterline liner. Primer, I'm actually really, really, really loving. Honestly, I think my skin does look really good. There's still texture, which I find just so 
frustrating, but I'm not gonna complain. I feel like the complexion overall still looks super pretty. I mean, this is a face God gave me, so I am thankful for it, even though inside I'm just like, I wanna change so many things, but you gotta be thankful for the skin that you're in, you know? Anyways, let's do our final close up, and let me just say thank you guys so much for watching today. I am just so thankful for you guys, every single one of you. Our channel has been growing and it's been so much fun to see. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited for this year and everything that is to come. It's going to be an epic one and yeah, I'm just so stoked for it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell if you haven't already and I will see you back on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Mwah. Oh, and I hope you get a chance to try out some of these because they're awesome. I will post the links down below, of course. Bye guys. So we're gonna go in with this. Oops, it's backwards. Oops. Go get this lip gloss. It is so good. It's so good. <laughs>